Hello and uh, welcome to Lucy Vibes. Karibuni sana. And I trust you're doing good. Mm, 2022. I trust you're blessed. Wherever you are. Umebari keywords are with whatever you're doing. Mm, I came across this video that was going round. It was trending. Concerning this guy. He's a musician. Gospel musician. And um, he does charity work. Ah, commendable job. Ah, Kara, Gomuraya, he does an amazing job. And as we, we, as Sisi Binadamu, you know, we are so fast to condemn people. We are so fast not even to mention the good things they are doing. But the kawan thing they do, the kawan thing they do. Ni kama tunakuanga sasa, tunangoja. You've seen it in your families, in your village, in the community. Sazi don't take unu manafanya kitu mzuri. Nobody. In fact, watu wanaongea tu. Mm, mm, mm. Wakona, wakona kikitu hapa. Wanakuangu wamengoja ufanya. Ako kama kosa kadogo. 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 Kadogo tu kamoja. And then they come. <laughs> and they think, and that is what happened with this eh, Karango Moraya. It does an amazing job. He is doing an amazing job. And I believe akuna kitu itafanya. A stop kufanya iyo kazi mungu wa memuitia. Ka amazing. Ebu imagine kwenu. Muna kanga, muna bishana, muna bishana, muna bishana. What of when you go to the community? When you step to the community, I'm telling you, it becomes chaos. It is not si kazi iko na mchezo. And that is why not many can do it. It is just a choose and few. And that is why sisi tunafaa kuwa tunawa motivate. So there is this story which was going round na takuongelelea hii moja. As you all know, this channel here ya, muna unatuko jikoni. We do not condemn people. But we try to look at the things the way they are. In the normal way, the simplest way. Kujaribu tu kuelewa binadamu. And to bring a positive vibe to people. Both sides, to both sides. So there is this Karango Muraya. And uh, Karango Muraya, your work is good. I've already said, and I will say it again. Commendable job. I salute you. My friend, I salute you. Sikujui sana, I started watching you, I think it was last year. And I said, wow, this guy is doing an amazing job. Until this time comes, Akanza could trend. So, kuna uyu, anasema ni mama lafiki yake. Mama, a lady, a lady. Rafiki yake, she lives in America. And uh, uh, this, this lady lives in America. Come to me, a pesa mnunuli, a shamba, 150,000, 150K. But according to them, according to her, it was 200,000, a mnunuli, a shamba. Let me tell you, this shamba, kwetu, sisi tunasemanga, tukisikia kie ha. Sisi tunasemanga, kie ha ni kama uzuni, mahali pako na uzuni. Eh, the same part the evil. So when I when I had a wakio kikuyu, of course, when I said, Mama, I can do too many mununuri ya kieha, you know, the mwolele kieha was like, wait a minute. Mungu, unanenda kununuri ya mutu kieha au, you know, eh, the plot. I came to learn that just the other day. And, uh, so, after me mtuma kumununuli ya, kumununuli ya iyo, iyo plot, iyo, I think, shamba or, I don't know, but, Plot or kitu kama yu, shamba, yu keha. So the lady changed, ona mind haka change. Haka mambia pana, na uyu ni lafiki yake. Hata karango mura ya kasema, hata isimo muna niona nayo, ni ya menunulia. Kwa hivyo ni watu wanajuana, ni watu wanajuana, ni watu wanaileano, ni marafiki. You understand? So vina ni mtumia pesa, haka mambia, oh, on the way, haka mambia, oh, wait a minute. Karaya, muraya, karango, karango muraya. Please forgive me in advance. Aki mwini sabi ya in advance kwa hiyo majina. Ate mi nikiaza kuwabia katune hapa mtaaza kusema jina ingine. You understand? So now, this karango muraya. The lady haka muambia pana. By the way, hile gafuroti ya. Hile pesa nilikuwa ni mekuambia. Sitaki kuendelea kununua. Nitumie nataka pesa yangu back. And that is where the problem started. Karango Muraya, uyu ni mtu akona watu wengi. So many followers because of the work that he does. So already, he holds a good name. He holds a name. Kenya tunapenda kuwaita celebrity. So, 
in a way ni celebrity doing charitable work and the years ago gospel musician na sona watu wanamuita Mr Wonderful and for sure he is a Mr Wonderful si wonderful acha zitokeze so the lady was like on the way akamwambia pana nataka pe- i need my money back tafadhali so karango moraya akamwambia gojea pesa yako utapata let me just in fact i'm supposed to go and sign to this company and then wata rudisha pesa yako yote and that is where the trouble is and that is where things started escalating and since karango karango muraya muraya ako na jina kubwa hmm? ako na jina kubwa tulisahau pia kuna pia mahitaji ya huyu mwanamke huyu mwanamke yeye alikuwa anataka chamba kwa hivyo yeye ana mind pesa yake anahitaji pesa yake lakini na sisi wa Kenya tuko na historia nitukwaja we nitukwaja we we gikelea huwa ye nitukwaja and i was like Okay, alikunulia simu maybe ni vitu mingi mnafanyanga pamoja. So so, so this wakati namwambia, "Eh, hey, wewe pesa yangu ndio nahitaji." So, Murai was supposed to go to them to ukos juu exactly where assign and then that lady gets her, her money back. Now, yeye wacha kae. Kesho kesho yake, kesho kutwa next week. So I can imagine the lady, the lady akiwa US. Ako ile ya kae. Na na by the way kama ushawa ikoniwa unajuanga kabaridi kengine kana kujanga ama rafiki yako ama mtu wako anakudeleisha na tupesa ah amesidanganyana hapo you know, don't lie we do not lie here ndio niliwaambia tunakujanga na story vile iko and we try to put ourselves in the shoes of both sides shoes kwa both sides so i'm like so imagine uko america kabaridi kana kuchapa hapa umeenda kazini umechapwa na stress muraya pesa yangu jameni uh, akienda maybe kwa Facebook akienda kwa mitandao anapata haya hata alikuwa anachangisha kule hata alikuwa anachangisha pa nego eko boy next week ni nike her time okay her time na yule muraya is like huyu ni rafiki atanielewa wait a minute muraya this madam this madam lazima kuwa alikuwa na shida zake pia na hayuko hapo for charity work yeye ni pesa yake anahitaji na sisi followers hapo ndio tunakosea pia let us watch it tukwanga all the time to na and then god muraya he apologize wara wara he such a nice man i tell you i'm sure he sat down and he was like aya na hapa nimekosea wewe muudue nini dagi dada wewe nimekosea rafiki yangu na ka apologize which was very good that is why nasema he such a number guy akasema kweli sorry kwa sababu this lady wacheni niwaambie in fact some of you some of you vile mungekuwa mumeandika vitu vitu hata nini ndimungekuwa labda watu wa kwanza kusema hata hiyo simu mnamuona na mimi nilimununulia sijui nini so this lady to me alikuwa na all the rights za kukasirika alikuwa na all the rights mpaka kama kasiriko yake ifike hapa juu anachapwa na kabaridi akienda kwa nini 150 yake imeenda okay yeye yeah, alikuwa anasema 200000 which ever bastaro alipata 150k zote zake lakini alikuwa na imagine alikuwa na kaivi anaona haja muraya niki tupe pesa yangu Be, iko wapi and hapo ndio sisi wa Kenya tunakosea pia so just because muraya has a big name and is doing charity work and this have a lady maybe hana jina hajulikani si kumaanisha sasa Tumurushia mawe ni kama amekosea sana. Some of you hata sijui mungekuwa wapi. To me this lady had a right alikuwa na all the rights za kukasirika na kusema I need my money na kweli nimekosewa. And for sure pia Muraya alisema nimekosewa. Nimemkosea, ni sorry. Alisema ni kweli ilikuwa makosa. Lakini ilikuwa ile time na hapo ndiyo sasa tunawekanga bibiria kando tunafuata protocol tunafuata rules kwa sababu hata na imagine after alimtumia ile pesa alikuwa anamtumia hata ya fair ama ni ile alikuwa amemwambia unajua wewe ni best yangu utanifanyia hivyo ama yule naye expecting something from ulaya i'm just saying i'm keeping it real please i'm just keeping it real akiwa kule ulaya even if it was me i would have thought the same akiwa kule anafikiri labda nitapata ka kitu ah hapa nitapata ka kitu ah tena ni mtu wangu wacha nimfanyie hivyo 
we i think ikifika ni ni kitu kama hii ya business kitu kama hii ya shamba or anything kwa sababu uko kwa charity work you better stick to, to charity work ingine ya shamba let them deal two of them ile hiyo kampuni si, si lazima by the way uache just because mtu mmoja alikuja na kulikuwa na some misunderstanding eh si lazima uache what you're supposed to do kama kuna mahali maybe unaweza pata ka kitu kako eh and then you do it bora wewe patia na customer full stop ni vile tu tunajua story za shamba Kenya all the time na celebrate na kitu inatokezeanga na inaanzia hata kwetu mpaka kwa families so mimi kwangu the lady alikuwa na all the rights za kukasirika mpaka makasiriko yake tu 100% ipande juu sioni makosa yake at all at all at all kwa sababu kusema ukweli unachapa na kabaridi ya America unakumbuka pesa yako kama unachapa na kajua ka America unaenda kazi unachapa na kasi za kumbuka 150000 yako imeenda hivyo akina huyo ni rafiki yako maana mulae utaki kuwa nasi alafu akienda pale kule kwa mita labda anaona mulae yako huko anachangisha anasema tulikuwa kwa family tulikuwa kwa hii tulikuwa kwa hii jaribu kuomwe sema saizi hata mwana mwana ndiye nakumbuka wewe inajadili wewe si huyo lawyer anitumia and hapo ndio sasa kuna kuwa na shida next time wekeni biblia kando tu wekeni bitujuani wacha tukue tunajua wakati wa biblia kando na wakati wa the rules kando ama ni wakati gani tunaweka rules and laws ama protocol ama contract ni gani tunani saa ngapi tunaiweka na ni saa ngapi biblia inakuja and then again who knows unajua hata friendship eh, iko na wakati wake who knows maybe it is a sign that god is saying to both sides maybe anakuambia yet muraya kazi yako na this lady imeisha ile mission mlikuwa mfani imeisha wewe you do your work and this other lady afanye kazi za maybe i'm just saying only that sisi wa Kenya tuko na hiyo shida tuko na hiyo shida atujuange sa zingine god anaweza leta watu wakati fulani na wakati mwingine they are not there kwa sababu mission yao imeisha You understand? And we have to also let it go. Lakini sa sisi hatuji tunashikilia tunashikilia alafu tunaanza kutafuta makosa tunaanza kutafuta makosa. That is all what I had for you for now. But karangu moraya. Don't stop what you are supposed to do. Because of people. Sisi tutaongea. Ah tukifanya uvanye nini? Tuki tunakata makosa kama makosa kwa kadogo. Hapo hata ndio tutaiba sana kuliko ile uzuri umefanya. So You are not supposed to be weighed down by anything whatsoever. Anything whatsoever. Ulikosea, uli apologize, umeran, you move on. The other lady pia na yeye aliona sasa kuna vile at least akituma mtu amununulie kakeha, anamtumia na mupatia blab blab da cafe ndio kazi yaendele. Hama anamwambia wacha ni deal na yule mtu. Alafu, you know, because ukiwa kwa limelight acha nikwambie tuna ngoja anga ufanye kama kosa kidogo lakini hatutakupigia drum hatutakupigia drum tu kwambie umefanya kazi nzuri ndio unaona sasa watu walitokezea hata anajengewa nyumba hata wale wengine alikuwa anajengea nyumba wamefanya hata hiyo pesa na kulang okay kama kazi nayo inakuletea pesa i mean uta stop na kama kweli eh, you know ni kufanya tu ni trike chani tabo work bado ni trike ni trike hiyo lazima uko umetumwa lazima uko umetumwa ama umejituma na ukajisainia ukasema we do it lakini mtu akiwa hai wacheni tumpigie makofi tumwambie amefanya kazi mzuri so Muraya you are just doing an amazing job and continue what you are, what you are doing with and this other lady nitarudia tena hauna makosa yoyote people might condemn you because you are not even known it's only Muraya who is known kwa hivyo tutaenda tupigie Muraya makofi sana na tumwambia hawa watu wanapenda kukuharibia lakini kwako for this lady for this one lady first of all wa America mwenye alikuwa amemtumia pesa huyu ndio pia naongelesha i mean akukua na shida yoyote yako ya kukasirika because you needed your money back and your own reasons why you needed your money back but at the end of the day munakuwa bado marafiki na boundaries now that is how how we all learn ama ni aje i would like to talk to uh, uh, concerning this other issue this other issue ya muraya and the other family ile this the lady the kagali that family and kwa nasema huo muraya wanted us to go to nanyuki nikasema siendi nanyuki haya hata hii shaba nayo tumenunuliwa we kazi iko kazi iko kazi iko umsana alisema he mwana alisema tumupatie 50k kama tumupatie 50k sasa anasema atafanya pesa ile 
anaweza kuwa pia alikuwa anaitisha pesa that is why mimi bado ninasemanga each charity work each charity work bado ni trick but kwa wale watu wako na mwito sisi tuko nyuma yenu hamtaacha kwa sababu ya sisi saa zingine vile tunashiba hia kwa sababu sisi si watu tunaweza fanya hivyo you understand but you this kalidi uh, kamrembo nako kalisema hapana moraya niambia hata twende na nyuki wewe moraya you na you si fanya wacha nikwambie kwa sababu uko kwa limelight eh? mtu atakuwa na ngoja tu kidogo hivi sasa kujoke na wale unafanyia kazi wacha ikae am i saying that that is what you did no am i saying you didn't do it no what what i'm saying sisi uko kwa limelight wewe bado ni binadamu eh tusikuje kujifanya hapa watu tunapatanga hata kwa high profile unapata tu me for in love macho inaona unaanza kukua na roho ingine ya mtu una you know you end up saying vitu baada unarudi unauliza kai ni satani mkani amenituma hapa <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying and I'm ju- I just want to remind you Murai and others when you are calling like ikifika hapo we soma ka message wachana na kuna wache kuambia mpende na nyuki sasa hiyo you utajaribia jela I'm telling you the truth hapo jina itaharibika kabisa tafuta kwingine usimailie I mean kabisa kwani unatoka kutuambia haja hapana tafuta simaili kwingine lakini hawa wenye mnasifanya kazi unawasaidia wa never taka ku mix vitu pale we jina iaribike that is all i had for you today mubarikiwe ni sana 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 2022 mubarikiwe step by step atukianguka ujue unajirifarifa unajirifarifa you move on without looking back without looking back ukiingia kwa matope unaona sema kai hiyo ilikuwa matope and you move on my friends i love you so much have a good day All good evening.